Yo! Welcome back, guys. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Phil. And I am Sam. And we are Bars and Barbells. We like to do bars. That's where we started doing a lot of hip-hop, but we've expanded into everything else. Yeah, to lots of different genres. We also like barbells because we lift weights. We're both into uh, fitness as a coaching as in a coaching aspect. Yeah. And we've been doing that for a long time, about 10 years. So that's where the barbell comes into play. Uh, is your battery going to make it here? Or? I don't know. We're back. We got ourselves plugged in. We're not going to die mid-video. Wouldn't that be the worst nightmare ever? <laughs> Mid-reaction. Computer dies. I'm sure it's happened. Anyways, uh, so that's the barbell aspect. Uh, but we've been doing a lot of different reaction videos. And it's all thanks to you guys and your oh, suggestions. Thank you so much, guys. Been really great with all Appreciate that. Appreciate all the love, all the suggestions, comments, likes, subscriptions. It's been you, awesome. Yeah, it's been overwhelming. So thank you for that. Uh, today we're doing Bill Burr white guilt this has been something that's been recommended to us as well so we thought we'd, we'd dive into this one we've done some dave Chappelle, we've done some bill burr as well and uh they've both been great so well, we hope that this is going to be great as well they don't seem to hold back there's no hold <laughs> no. bards with no holds barred with the way they approach things so let's see if bill burr is going to hit us with some <laughs> i think by, I by the like title it's probably going to be yeah all right guys let's get into it I don't know. I rented that movie uh, Pride recently. Have you guys seen that movie? Anybody see that? It's about the first all-black swim team and the difficulties they had to go through being the first all-black swim team. Let me ask you a question. How many of those white people are evil movies are they going to make? <laughs> it's like it's all the way down to swimming. You know? I'm starting to run out of white guilt, you know? <laughs> No, it's like those movies, they started off unbelievable. Started off with Roots, right? White guilt was at an all-time high. I could barely even watch it. I'm like, dude, I got it. My ancestors are evil, okay, please. Please turn the channel, dude, please turn the channel. They still hitting them? Fuck, turn the channel. <laughs> this is gonna be on all week? Jesus Christ, turn the channel. <sighs> then in the 80s, there was like a football movie, then like Cuba Gooding wanted to be like a scuba diver. Remember that shit? And now, it's all the way down to swimming, and I gotta admit, I don't think I give a fuck. <laughs> You know, I'm not trying to be a dick, but it's a recreational activity. Plus, I've been in pools. There's been black people in the pool, you know. I never saw any white guy, like, trying to, like, fucking, like, prevent people from getting into the pool. It's like, are they just, like, making this shit up? I'm not, I'm not being a dick here either, okay? Just to clarify, you know, I just want to... Anybody coming up to me after the show like, you know, I was thinking it, and then you fucking said it, man. <laughs> I'm not saying that I don't think black sh people should be allowed to put on some Speedos and go for a dip. I'm not saying that shit. I'm just saying these movies, like the characters aren't even believable. Like they always have to have like that, the, the over-the-top, uninhibited white racist character, you know? You know that guy? He's a guy like, uh, he's supposed to represent all the white evil, you know? He's like the dude they always have like screaming during the movie trailer. They'd be like, they were the first all black swim team. Get out of the pool! <laughs> He's got like a big vein in his forehead. He's just screaming shit, look, not even looking around, you know? Dude, it's ridiculous. Real racism is quiet. It's subtle. People look around first. They make sure the, you know, they make sure the coast is clear. There's disclaimers, like, dude, you know I'm not racist, but uh, these insert group name followed by fucked up conversation, right? That's how it goes down. It's, that's, that's so funny, too, because it's the truth, right? Like, you you really, in my experience anyways, as a white person, like, yeah. a lot of this stuff would go on behind closed doors where yeah. these conversations, they won't be out in the open if somebody's going to be, yeah, you well, know. Well, let's touch on this thing. Like, you know, smiling in front of everybody. Or, like and then, he said, it's so true. Like, I'm not racist, but. Yeah, exactly. And, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that's the thing I was going to get to was, like, you see all these things that are so extreme in front of everything, like on the news and all this other stuff, and it's just blown out of proportion a lot of the time, and you see the headline, and it means something yeah. completely different, and it's like most people are, when they're going to do like shit like that's ridiculous, yeah. they're going to do it's it behind closed straightly. doors, yeah. yeah. Some guy just standing up there, there's Negroes in the pool! Do you approve of this? I work at the bank, could I be fired immediately, please? I'm just saying, can you just make the shit, like, believable? You know what the honest thing is in those movies? They're starting to give me a complex. 
You know, because anytime they do a movie about a group of people that thinks dumb shit about another group of people, it's always like white dudes. So it's like, <laughs> are white dudes the only ones who think ignorant shit about other people, you know? Apparently. No Mexican guy ever walked up to somebody from India like, dude, what the fuck is that? Is that like itchy? Is that bucky? What is it? White dudes the only ones walking around. Why well, you guys don't eat cows? You a bunch of fags. <laughs> movies out a little bit like just have some of the evil shit that black people say about white people you know when, when we're not around you know like what do they say Bill? Well, what are some good examples you know, <laughs> you know, like, you know what I mean you're hanging out you had a rough day you know what are some of the classics you know what smell like wet dogs right <laughs> you got headlights or something like that right just just slip some of that shit in there get out of the pool wash your hair motherfucker right just, <laughs> Make it seem a little more... Dude, I'm just saying, it's all the way down to swimming. Where, where the fuck do you go from there? We do like ping pong? <laughs> they were the first all black ping pong team. <laughs> They're gonna steal the paddles. Denzel Washington. <laughs> my daughter's not playing ping pong. You got to go out there and show the white man your bed, ping pong. <laughs> No, I'm not, I'm not saying, uh, I don't know, it's always just weird bringing this shit up, but no, I'm not saying white people aren't evil either, because I, I know we're evil. I got that evil in me. <laughs> I do, I, that's why I can feel it. That's why I try to suppress it. I try to dress casual, you know what I mean? I'm serious, man. I tried a suit on the other day. I felt it coming up. Like, fuck, man, I want to take over some shit, right? I want to start telling people what to do. I want to go pollute the lake, blaming on my secretary, you know? <laughs> I think he's referring to um, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Human beings, yeah. you know, and money, yeah. basically. Yeah. And you're greedy, you get a little greedy. Yep. Mm. When they make black and white people get along, man, even those ones seem ridiculous, you know, because it always has to be like some sort of lesson in those movies. Just like, you know, I never looked at it that way. <laughs> it's like that never happens, you know? Anytime I've ever hung out with a black dude, at no point during the evening is he like try to like teach me how to dance. You know? <laughs> You know that interracial footloose moment they always have to have in those movies? And I never go to his neighborhood and like try to like save a school, you know? How many times are they gonna make that movie? You know that movie? The white person goes into the projects, they just have to make a difference. You know, they just made that movie again with, uh, what was it, Hilary Swank? Yeah. It's like, did you even need Freedom to go Freedom Riders. See? It's like, let me guess, she shows up and they don't accept her, right? And she goes home, she cries to her effeminate boyfriend who's wearing sweatpants and he's cooking something for some reason, right? <laughs> and he convinces so her, he convinces her to give it one more chance, right? So then she goes back down there, she starts drawing out their inner beauty. Next thing you know, they put a do-rag on her, she starts fucking dancing. <laughs> and it's just embarrassing for all races involved. For the love of God, stop making that fucking movie. <laughs> Dude, the amount of times they made that movie, I would think I would know somebody white who actually did that shit, you know? Just be like, ah, it's Mike, yeah, he saves ghettos. That's what he does, you know? <laughs> I sit around, I watch Sports Center, you know, he's in the projects every weekend. Just writing his name on the blackboard, my name's Mr. Michael, all right, who threw that? Who threw that? It's just annoying after a while, you know? And it always fucking works out, too. Anytime that the white person goes down there, I want to make that, I want to see a movie where it doesn't work out. Like the white dude goes down there the first day, just gets the shit kicked out of him, you know? <laughs> just leaving all negative. You can't fucking help these people, you know? <laughs> Go down there, you try to do something nice, I couldn't get a goddamn word in. That's a three and all prescription. <laughs> oh my God. Well, that was Bill Burr. Never the holds back. Park. As expected. What were your thoughts? I mean, he's funny. <laughs> yeah. I, he's aggressive, but he's yeah, funny. Yeah, my face is hurting a little bit. Yeah. Moment, so I was smiling pretty much the whole time. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think, like, I liked that one. It was good. I enjoyed it. 
Um, I think I liked the other one that we did a little bit more. I can't remember the feminist. Was it the feminist? No, that was that was. We Dave did Chappelle. that WNBA one. Oh, the WNBA one. Yeah, yeah, I think I liked that one a little bit more. But this one was <coughs> funny too. Um, and obviously, again, I'm broaching a subject that is you know a little more sensitive yes. to, to talk about. For but sure, for sure. as I've said in the other videos, that's what comedy is for, right? Yeah, like that's what you should use it for. Well, it's, I think in like I just I think it's funny because he, he takes like a lot of like very common stereotype types that are used in like mainstream Hollywood and movies and stuff, and just like making a joke of them, yeah. right? So yeah. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I enjoyed it. Bill Burr is good. So if you guys have any other recommendations, <laughs> yes. please let me know. Hit them in the comments. And we'll do another one. Yes. For sure. I'm sure he has a ton of material. I've never seen oh him live, gosh. but yeah. um, I'm sure he has great stuff. So let us know if you like the, the reaction, like the video, and uh, subscribe to the channel and check out our other videos. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. That's it for today. We'll be back soon.